Uh, it's a little effort of mine to bring uh, from back home, from the Vedic culture and then from the Hindu religion. All of you look like uh, you must be aware about the burning of the widows in India in the Hindu religion. The women were burnt yeah. uh, when the husbands died. Oh, nice. uh, so on, on the International Women's Day, upcoming International Women's Day, being a women activist in my country, when I was working for a non-profit, I got a chance uh, to learn to express myself and talk about things which was not uh, a human right. It was against human rights. So I just poured it into for one of my presentations in my community, and I told you that I will read this to you all tonight. Hope I have done justice. Uh, so you can uh, understand that this is written about the woman who was burnt on the funeral pyre after her husband was placed on the pyre. We burn the bodies after death. So this woman is forcibly put into the pyre to together alive. burn. A live woman will be placed because the men will be standing all around and they'll make her die along with the man. This practice had been 200 years back. 150 years back it was very much in some of the communities in India, Nepal, and the Asian countries where Hindu religion was there. That was the dark side of the Hindu religion, and it was very, very unfair, and it has kind of touched my soul, and I always feel that I should talk about it in the West, where people haven't known such things. Thank you for letting me, gentlemen, letting me express myself. It, it has not been edited. Sorry if there's any uh, mistake. Please forgive me. She has risen once again. I'm talking. Obviously, was once a bed of leapy, crackling flames over a bed of livid, burning coals, leaping as if in some joyous feat to hungrily char her tender, innocent flesh. Just because she was a woman, burning the life out of her, even before she left, truly silencing her shrill cries. Already muted and dumbed voices, who was begging and crying for justice to let her live as hadn't yet, which echoed back into her soul, unheard by all the dead conscience around her, those who judged her as a worthless non human, who was made to embrace death by being pushed off the edges without the master who owned her as he lay dead in front of her, the man who had taken charge of her, the one whom she was married to, just because she, he unfortunately died, could be for some mundane reason. There was no fault of hers. She was punished for all of those, for a crime she never committed, just because she was a woman, in a devilish, saddest man's world. She was a woman. Mm. Mm -hmm.